Hello there, it's quiz time! <laughs> uh, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and this is a 1966 membership card for the acid tests, the crazy things put on by Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters. And as you can see, the front of the card has it just plain and simple. Can you pass the acid test with Uncle Sam pointing his finger at you? And of course, that's a total play on the famous recruitment posters, which would say, we want you for the U.S. Army. <laughs> so that's the, uh, the hipsters obviously making a play on that uh, to great effect, too. Um, just crazy doing their thing back in 1966 in the Bay Area before LSD became illegal. I think it was on October 1st, or in the month of October of 66, LSD was made illegal. So there's the front of the card, and if you turn it over, it's got information on there which you can fill out. And I'm um, trusting the focusability of my new camera here. You can see it right there. It says, uh, um, uh, well, it's kind of funny. First of all, it says paste photo here. I think when I first saw the card, I thought it was for a thumbprint. And then I thought, oops, nope, no one, nobody using LSD is going to give the government that much information. But, you know, that's where you're supposed to paste your tiny photo booth photo, I guess, or something like that. And then, as you can see, it's just something to fill out for fun. My name is, I live at, I was born... And I can just see, you know, <laughs> I can just see people having fun with that, starting with a third question, you know, I was born naked or something like that, whatever they would have put in. I am blank tall. I have blank eyes. Uh, instead of brown or blue or green, maybe somebody put in like bloodshot or dilated or something, right? And I weigh blank. And then it says, as you can see, I think the focus is holding pretty good. I am a member of the Intrepid Trips. Inc. Actually, I threw in a the, didn't I? I am a member of Intrepid Trips, Inc. and am doing nothing. <laughs> Isn't that wild? With a space for your signature. Boy, I would really love to find one of these filled out back then, back in 66. That'd be really, it doesn't matter who it is. I mean, obviously, someone like Casey's or something would be great. But, you know, just anybody, any Bay Area hipster who, who filled this out back then and, and what it looks like, that'd be so fun. It doesn't matter how this happens to be a mint original blank card. But, you know, even if it's all beat up, it'd be so much fun to see, you know, uh, obviously one that was used back in the day that's got all that feel and everything to it, including the picture. You know, if somebody put their picture on there, that'd be so neat. And, uh, you know, I'm guessing in 1966, a lot of these cards, the people would look pretty straight. You know, they'd look, a lot of people had short hair and everything back then. The musicians didn't, but, um, you know, you'd automatically think, oh, it'd be like, oh, you know, flowing hair hippies and everything. But no, a lot of people, if you look at pictures of the acid tests themselves, a lot of just high school and college looking kids were at these things. So anyway, hope uh, I passed the acid test today and keeping this small card in focus and uh, had a lot of fun with it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing it too. Thanks a lot for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.